The rate at which indigenous women and girls in the United States and Canada go missing and are murdered has always been a pressing issue. This group is unproportionately targeted. In Canada, indigenous women are less than 5% of the total female population, but in 2015 they comprised 25% of all murdered women in the nation. A large part of the problem is that oftentimes families are unable to get help finding these missing women and girls. They frequently have nowhere to turn to because of jurisdictional conflicts between tribal, local, and state police. Tribal police are understaffed, largely unaccountable, and don't take reports of missing women seriously. One mother of a missing woman says, There was no search party. There was no let's tear her house apart and find a clue. I just felt hopeless and helpless. Some of the largest perpetrating factors of violence, trafficking, and murder against indigenous women are extractive industries, such as mining, logging, and fossil fuels. These industries bring an abundance of male workers to rural areas where they stay in man camps, often near reservation. With this surge of male workers to the area, rates of violent crime and aggravated assault rise. Stereotypes largely affect how native women are treated even after they go missing. During European colonialism, native women became victims of rape, violence, and submission, which contributes to the assumptions made about them even nowadays. These same stereotypes also influence the search process when a native woman is reported missing. Law enforcement tends to turn a blind eye fails to take the report seriously and does little to assist. The media rarely picks up on a story and if they do, there is normally a negative spin on the story making the victim seem at fault. The aunt of a missing indigenous woman says, when you look at most of the people coming up missing that are white, most of the time there's so much immediate response and news coverage. With more than four out of five indigenous women having experienced violence in their lifetime, more attention must be brought to this epidemic. So how can you help? Vote for officials who are committed to putting an end to this problem. Donate to organizations that pursue justice for murdered and missing women and their relatives. And use social media to spread awareness to hashtag MMIW.